It's about the fights. Victor Martinez and Luis Luna will match up in a lightweight clash. Two guys with great records looking to get a win on the brightest of lights of Combate Americas to move up the pecking order. Listen, non-Spanish speakers, I want to help you here. Luis Luna, it means the moon. <laughs> Louis the moon. Louis the moon. Martinez means Martinez. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Luis Martinez, or Victor Martinez, got a big crowd behind him. You can hear it. Yeah, Rio Grande Valley, a lot of fighters from this area. It is very rich in good fighting pedigree and prospects. Of course, you got Mexican background in Texas, Texas foreground. Yeah. That's Lu fighting territory. Luis Luna, 100% Texan. I was listening to an interview that he did, and he is a Texas Southern gentleman. That's Love the way he talks. That's a badge of courage to be able to say 100% Texan. They take it very oh. seriously around these parts. And, and look at these guys fighting both like Mexicans and like Texicans and like Texicans. Texas. Luna is in the red. Biggs looping right machete throw, almost catching Martinez coming in. We have had three fights tonight, two ending in the first round, and then the bizarre matchup between Freitas and Banda that involved two strikes be behind the head. Luis Luna is a bit shorter. He's looking for his range against Martinez, and he's finding it there with that overhand right. He's finding a home for that overhand right, but against a longer fighter like Martinez, you've got to find your way in, and he's been able to do that. He's getting creative, and I like it. He's striking first, and he's striking hard. Every punch, bad intentions. Lots of output here from Luna, but it is Martinez in the center of the Haula. Ooh. Ah. Oh, that was a nice short right from Luna. Nice. Body blow from Martinez. A nice leg kick. Right on the knee. Oh, oh. that's done. Martinez got him. Done he done caught him up. on the chin. It's over. Yeah. Wow. Victor, the brick Martinez. Catching him on the chin. Pinpoint accuracy, tons of power. Put him out on his feet. Nice stoppage by the referee, third man in charge. That's a beautiful stoppage. And then we have the number one contender in the North America versus South America coming up next week on our debut on Axis TV. Here we Absolutely. see again, guys. Nice right hand, left hook. Just dazed and confused all around. Bang. Very short right, did all the damage. Ooh, right on the button and finishes it off with that left hook. Referee seen enough. Good stop there from Montalvo. Gorgeous stop, yep. He knew he was out on the feet. And those Texans are so tough, you know what I mean? They're too tough for their own good, if you will. He probably would have still tried to continue to fight if that referee oh, yeah, didn't. No. Ladies and gentlemen, a series on of unanswered blows obligates referee Jacob Montalvo to step in and call a halt to this contest with an official time of 1 minute 39 seconds of the first round. Damas caballeros. Una serie de golpes sin respuesta obliga al referee Jacob Montalvo a parar la contienda con un tiempo oficial de 1 minuto 39 segundos del primer asalto. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, el ganador por knockout técnico. From the RGV, Vic the Brick, Victor Martinez. Gets a great pop from the crowd here.